Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Xu Weini, who comes from Hamburg, and today I, I'd like to uh, give you a topic about uh, control secure use of tunnel for high speed data transfer between guests and the host. So, uh, that's part of, uh, the first uh, the first part I I like to give a overview of this topic. Uh, uh, the first well, the first one is what is content containers. Uh, the uh, the the pictures uh, shows the difference between Kata containers and uh, Ronsi. Uh, Kata code runs in the virtual machine, uh, and Ronsi uh, runs in the namespace. So the VM provide uh, harder isolations than uh, sharing the host kernel. So for the kata containers, the uh, malware uh, the malware is hard to attack to the host kernel, but the run safe uh, because they are shy, uh, sh uh, sharing the host kernel, so it's easy to attack the attack to the host. So. Uh, in addition, uh, the VMMs uh, are and the kernels are extremely lightweight, uh, uh, designed to the containers environment. So, and plus we have uh, uh, rewrite the all the comp uh, components uh, in Rust uh, to reduce the overhead. So, so for the kata containers. Uh, in, one, uh, in one word, it's the speed of containers and the security of VMs. Uh, so uh, our topic is about VSOC uh, high-speed uh, tunnels. So the key, uh, the key technique is uh, transparent uh, socket impersonations, uh, TSI shortly. So uh, this picture shows the uh, the the main different uh, about, uh, the main difference between the normal uh, network and the VSOC uh, tunnel network. So uh, this is a TSI disabled. So the uh, user app uh, uh, create uh, create and operate a, a socket, uh, then goes to the network uh, network stack and outside the guest. And for the uh, for the VSOC tunnel, uh, the uh, the TSI, uh, the TSI, and go to the VSOC and go to the uh, and through the VSOC uh, device and go outside the VM. So, uh, so uh, the, the TSI is firstly uh, introduced by the Red Hat, uh, but uh, it, it is uh, for libk run. Uh, uh, there is an extremely uh, simple uh, uh, runtime. Uh, it's uh, only support one pole and uh, one containers. So we uh, made a series of uh, import, uh, improvements to uh, to TSI to support the TCP, UDP, and the Unix streams. So uh, before uh, diving to the technical details. Uh, I'd like to show you two demos about TSI. So the first demo, uh, it, it is uh, about TCP over the uh, VSOC tunnel. So uh, you will say there is uh, no active uh, network card inside the guest. Uh, all network card is uh, uh, is done. So, uh, and then we will start a TCP uh, server uh, inside the guest listening on the local host. So uh, if you if you if if, if without uh, TSI, host cannot access guest uh, servers uh, listening on the local host. So, uh, it, uh, but but if you use the TSI, it works. Uh, then we will start a TCP client. Uh, on the host uh, connects uh, on the host and uh, connects to the uh, address uh, local host at one o eight eight eight. So let's. Okay. Uh, so we will we will launch a uh, VMM because uh, uh, because uh, our our changes is. Uh, 
uh, implementing the uh, virtual machine. So we don't we don't launch a pod because there are uh, contains many uh, many uh, many of stuff that not related to the uh, our chain. So we only launch a VM. Now, uh, virtual machine uh, started, and uh, uh, I will start a server at uh, uh, inside the guest. So, okay. and the socket is found at localhost and uh, one oh eight eight eight, and waiting for. Uh, and then uh, this is a host, not 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 <coughs> the guest. This is the host. So we will uh, connect to the local host and the one o eight eight eight. Is uh, means uh, it, it, it will uh, connect to the uh, 10888 from 10999. So, uh, look at this. Uh, this means uh, we we send we send eight, 18 bytes uh, from host, and the, the data is hello from client. Ah, uh, uh, switch to the guest. You can say uh, the the guest. Receive the, uh, the 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 data hello from the client, and uh, I will show you uh, I will show you guest uh, network card uh, by IP link command. So uh, there are uh, there are two uh, network uh, card, but look at look at the state, they are down, and uh, they are down. It is down. It is down. Okay, two two devices are down, but the network is uh, network connections uh, has been established. Uh, so we use the WSOP tunnel to 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 do that. And uh, and then I will. Uh, So the demo two, demo two is uh, uh, it is about uh, the U UDS. Uh, if uh, if the pole run with a uh, TSI, uh, no no UDS servers inside the host uh, could be accessed from the guest. So we have a, a server and a, a client uh, as well, but. Uh, their addresses are not same. So uh, the, the the host side is uh, temp slash TSI uh, blah blah blah, and the the guest side is uh, TSI uh, socket blah blah blah. Because it is uh, uh, the paths are, uh, are uh, the, the paths are different because uh, the host uh, the host side and uh, uh, the guest side the uh, the locations are different, and we have uh, uh, we have uh, insert uh, rules uh, in the in our code. It is hard code, but in the uh, real world, uh, it will it will be uh, updated uh, by the Kata containers. But uh, for uh, for the simplified, so we we, we are uh, hard code in our in our code base.
the week, I will start a UDS. Uh, I will I will create a UDS and uh, uh, bound at temp, temp slash TSI socket on So it is uh, the server is running and go back to the guest. There are three benefits from the TSI. The uh, the TSI bypasses the guest network stack stack uh, by VSOC, so you can gain the better network performance. Uh, plus, uh, the TSI uh, it, it, you, you could use the TSI access the host the UDS from the guest at the wrong state. Does. Uh, for example, you can uh, access the host uh, 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 daemon site. A UDS, uh, and uh, the third, the third is uh, the ultimate idea is to eliminate the sidecar containers using the per host service mesh proxy. Uh, for example, uh, uh, it is uh, for example Istio ambient service mesh. Uh, it doesn't need to go through the guest and the host network stack. Stack. By, uh, by the way, uh, we cooperated with uh, contributors of the Istio and uh, have finished the TSI POC with the uh, ambient service mesh. Uh, the third part is introduce the technical details about the VSOC kernel. Uh, the features, uh, the features of this, uh, the virtual VSOC mounted devices. Uh, is a funda uh, funda foundations of a VSOC tunnel. Uh, the Linux has supported a one VSOC device so far, uh, but there are two uh, issues of the current uh, kernel. The first one is the bad uh, isolations. Uh, all VSOC connect uh, connections share one group of uh, one group of the vert cubes. Share share this one group of vert cubes. Uh, so. Uh, since the TSI builds a data plan, data plan over the VSOC, so we have to have a strong isolations, isolations from the virtues uh, for uh, control plan. Uh, in the case of Kata containers, uh, Kata agent is one of the components of uh, control plan. Uh, the second one, as well as the biggest reason, is that uh, currently uh, uh, kernel doesn't support multi. Uh, backend, we don't have a chance to offload the data to another user APPs by VSOC user protocols. A uh, virtual VSOC device must be occupied by a uh, Kata agent. Uh, so the 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 right the right user APPs uh, such as Zitano. Zitano is one of the uh, components of uh, Istio ambient service mesh. So we can use the we host the user protocol to off, uh, to offload the uh, uh, data to the uh, the tunnel. The the memory is shared. Uh, this is uh, pictures. This is an overview pictures of uh, uh, architectures. Uh, it could be divided two parts. The top part uh, is high speed VSOC tunnel. Uh, and the rest, and the rest part is uh, a standard network. Uh, for the TSI, uh, there are t 
to address family, uh, AFTSI. And AFTSI, you, uh, TI, AFTSI is for hijacking uh, TCP and UDP. And TSIU uh, is for hijacking uh, Unix. So um, the TSI uh, don't transfer any data, but help, uh, but help establish the uh, VSOC tunnel. Uh, and the AF VSOC, AF VSOC is here, AF VSOC is responsible for transferring the data. Uh, you can say we have a two VSOC device. VSOC zero, VSOC zero is, is for Kata agent, uh, it's a control plan. And, uh, and uh, VSOC one is for data plan. And this is for TSI. Yeah. Uh, I'll go through uh, the proce uh, process of TSI listening in the guest. Uh, the TSI the TSS console, uh, control messages are transmitted through this uh, of DRAM, uh, which is uh, 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 features that haven't been merged into the mainline of the Linux. So the VM app is responsible for performing those. Uh, so uh, the VM app is responsible for performing uh, those socket system calls. So uh, when the user called the uh, listen inside the gas. The, uh, the control message is transmitted to the VMM and the VMM. VMM is a user, it is it, it not only a hypervisor, it, it, VMM is also a user APP as well. So the VMM is uh, responsible for performing a uh, listen, uh, 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 performing the listen uh, system calls. So the uh, socket, it, it, it is, uh, so VMM is the TCP listener in this case. Uh, and, and, and the user called the accept uh, inside the guest and VMM performed the accept as well. But, but the, um, but the VMM don't, uh, don't send, uh, send, send the accept response immediately because the set operation is is a thing. So okay, uh, this is about listen and accept. Now uh, connect, uh, connections need to be established by this uh, this picture show the pro the progress. Uh, there is a user ABP here, and try to connect to the uh, TCP uh, with the address. Uh, in fact, it's a uh, connect to the VMM. So the local local connections uh, is established firstly, user ABP and the VMM, and then VMM tries uh, tries to establish the VSOC connections, and and uh, after the connection uh, connected, uh, VMAP sent the accept re re the response back. Uh, and then all the connections are connected. And VMAP acts as the proxy to uh, forward the data from the user APPs to the guest. Uh, we, uh, as a, as a, uh, previous mentioned uh, the performance uh, because we we we, uh, we bypassed the guest network stack so we gained the performance. Uh, th this this slide show you our benchmarking result with standard network uh, word L9. Uh, these results are from NetPerf. We are testing seven groups including uh, TCP stream. TCP-R, TCP-CR, TCP latency, UDP stream, and UDP-R. Uh, to make it clear, I apply a uh, log 10 transformations uh, to the data, uh, except for the except for the TCP-CRR, except for this one, and uh, the TSI, the performance of TSI uh, is better than the uh, net.
Uh, I per three gives us a same uh, uh, result. Uh, we tested, but for the UDP, we tested uh, two cases. Uh, one for one uh, KB package, uh, which is smaller than the general MTU, and one for uh, three KBs, which is uh, larger uh, than MTU. Uh, transfer, uh, transferring small uh, package uh, virtual game better performance than uh, TSI, but for the large, la larger package, uh, TSI is better. You can say uh, the, the the higher speed and the lower uh, error rate. Uh, so the TSI bypass the gas the kernel. You may have a some security concern until now. Uh, so uh, is, uh, it, it, is the TSI secure? Uh, the answer is, is yes. Uh, we have implement uh, hijack control for TSI. Uh, the, rules, the rules are set in the VM map. So the guest couldn't change it. So uh, it is under our control. And uh, uh, the the guest kernel send the uh, send the request before the before before so socket creating, and the socket will be hijacked once the VMM tells the guest kernel. Uh, you can do that. Otherwise, it, it will fall back to the normal ways. Uh, so uh, rules uh, are are allowed to be updated after code started by Kata command line. Uh, Kata Kata will expose uh, TTRPC servers uh, after started. Uh, the left is for uh, TCP and UDP, and the right is for uh, the Unix. Uh, for the TCPs, uh, uh, users should s uh, specify. Uh, the socket address and the socket type. Socket type one for stream and two for DRAM. Uh, 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 for Unix, uh, user should spy a specific uh, host host path and uh, container path. Uh, they have a Mac relationship. Uh, so the the rules for UDS are updated, updated automatic, uh, automatically uh, when the socket, uh, socket files are bind bound to the containers as the volumes. Uh, before <coughs> containers start uh, starting, uh, Kata checks the volume for from uh, OCI spec. Uh, if the volume is uh, socket files, uh, a new rules is insert, in, inserted automatically. This mechanism uh, doesn't work for uh, uh, doesn't work for uh, 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 direct directories for the sake of the security, uh, because uh, the directory might contain some of the sockets uh, to which we don't intend the guests to connect. Uh, and uh, uh, well, the, in, in the future, so we are uh, we are planning to push the TSI uh, to the upstream. So here is a, a here here is a what what we are planning. Uh, we are contributing to uh, virtual VSOC multi devices to the Linux upstream, uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, push a patch to the upstream is extremely uh, hard because uh, one communication maybe uh, cost uh, two weeks or more so uh, so maybe the uh, the process is slow but we did do that and and uh, improvements on TSI uh, will be contributed to the deep run uh, upstream uh, because we don't. We don't intend to uh, contribute 
uh, the, the patch to the uh, uh, Linux app stream because uh, the TSI is uh, designed for the container environment. It, it, it is not a very general uh, uh, task. So uh, we are only intend to contribute to the libk run app stream. Uh, and then TSI, uh, TSI sports will be uh, contribute to the cotton containers on screen. Yes. Uh, so maybe maybe the, maybe maybe next year's we will do that. And we we'll, uh, because and we will update uh, the OS builder tools for cotton containers because uh, there is a lot of private patches uh, about uh, TSI. So. We, we will provide the tools uh, to build the, the, the kernel with one key. And uh, that's all. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, one, one more last thing. Uh, this is the uh, raw, raw data of the benchmark. So if, you, uh, if you're interested, you can take a look at myself. And this is benchmark 3. Uh, I first 3 benchmark. Thank you.